What's going on everybody? It's Tyler here with Worship Innovation and today bringing you guys another tutorial on ProPresenter 7. This time we are going to be talking about how to display websites or videos in ProPresenter 7. Uh, and this is something that a lot of people have had questions about because in ProPresenter 6 we used to have a web browser feature but in ProPresenter 7, that was taken away. So I'm going to show you two options that are viable uh, to give you guys the ability to display websites easily in ProPresenter 7. The first one is the somewhat okay method that Renewed Vision recommends, and that is by using a web element. So all I did was I went into a blank slide and added a web element. Now what I'm going to do is put in my URL. Worship-innovation.com is the website I want to display. And then I'm going to go back out to the show and press on my slide. What you're going to notice here is that my website is not showing up properly. And that is because the web browser right now that ProPresenter 7 is using to get this is not supported by most modern websites. I tried pulling up YouTube. YouTube said that they were doing away with this browser and videos would not load. I've tried pulling up my website and it doesn't work. So this is not the best option. It also doesn't allow for any interactivity uh, on the website. So I'm going to show you another way. It's a little bit of a workaround, but I think it works a lot better. So the first thing that we need to do is we need a separate piece of software called Screen Capture Siphon, which I have downloaded right here. And I'm gonna start this piece of software up. I'll leave a link to this in the description. What this does is this records your screen and it plays that as a siphon input, which we can use in ProPresenter 7 to give us a video input. So I'm just gonna change this web element to a video element by changing the fill to video input. I could also do this by clicking the plus sign here and adding a video input layer. So now what I'm going to do is go to my video input setup and I'm going to select Siphon Screen Capture Siphon. Once I've done that and I click this, we can now see my main screen is here. So if I had a video pulled up, this Screen Capture Siphon would allow me to show my main screen or mirror my screen right here, okay? Uh, this is also something that could be very powerful for ProPresenter training purposes as well because using the looks, we could make, you know, something like a main output and then we could have another screen showing what we are actually doing using this Screen Capture Siphon. That's once again showing up on the slides layer all right, it's not showing up on the video input layer. Uh, we could make this show up on the video input layer, but we're adding this to a slide. We could then target that slide to the announcements layer if we wanted to, or whatever. Or if we wanted to just show it as a video input layer, we can do that as well. But this is by far the best way to display a website or of any kind or really anything on your screens uh, that you're needing to mirror, uh, this is the best way using Screen Capture Siphon and then from there uh, displaying you know what's on your screen as a siphon input. Now I do believe that this Screen Capture Siphon software is around $10. There's a free trial that's available for you if you guys are wanting to just try this out to see if it works in your application. But I think that using Siphon or NDI, there's also ways to do this with NDI, and maybe I'll post a video on how to do that in the future. But using either Siphon or NDI is going to be your best bet on how to display websites or videos or anything like that on your uh, ProPresenter 7. So anyways, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as well as turn on notifications so that you get all the latest updates of when we post new videos as well as check out our website, worship-innovation.com, for all things related to worship innovation. Until next time, keep innovating.